These videos are a stream recording hybrid. Random commentary based on the stream chat may be found. Stupid gifs found from the stream chat will also be found. Viewer discretion may be advised. Are you thirsty? You must be very thirsty. You only take milk with your coffee. Coffee with milk, that's all. Becky? My name is Becky. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Do you know where the exit is? My name is Becky. After your throat is quenched, you must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. Who dare refuse coffee? Huh? Oh, hey, the door's open. The door to Kingdom Hearts. I... Okay, I was in a cutscene, that's why. Episode 2, Part 1. Await Muses Gallery. Is there anything interesting here? Anything I can interact with? Ooh, I can interact with that uh, couch. Rudley's fluttering the air, chandelier hanging from above. Can this riddle be solved, Zach? Let me guess. Yep. I can never go back. I get a lollipop? Don't you love it when you're in some weird alternate dimension you just find a lollipop from where a angel child was just sitting? And a chocolate chip cookie. Now all I need is a glass of orange juice to go with this delicious chocolate chip cookie. Isn't that right, chat? What is with round rooms? Every time I'm in some kind of psychic event, it's always a round room or a narrow hallway. That's me. That's me when it happened. Zack, this case looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. All right, since it is technically the next day or two days later or whatever, Let's switch over to the pumpkin suit, just like you all asked for. This gets sent up for cleaning, because, you know, it only costs ten dollars. Ah, uh, yeah. I now resist hunger and tiredness by, uh, three times. And, Lily, I have no idea why you cannot hear anything. That's kind of odd. Um, what are we doing? 
So much to do with so little time. Well, first I need to swap out my submachine gun for the infinite ammo submachine gun. Take item out. Put item away. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I will not use these things, but it's still cool. I'm unsure if you, the video people, were able to hear the stream up to this point. Like, apparently the beginning of this episode was silent for the stream people, and maybe not for the video people. I have no idea. Hopefully you guys were able to hear it, but just in case I never even said it. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. Oh, whoa there! Uh... Did you need something? No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it surprised me, that's all. This guy is quite interesting. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. Ah, little Dalmatian puppy. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops. Before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Oh, uh, thank you. How kind of you. So, what brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. But, you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be, and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. It couldn't be that the seeds Zach, only sprout. Do you remember what the coffee said? Forest Kaysen. F. K. This show has just begun. Okay. I have to say, though, if he's the... If he's the one who can sprout those, then what if... And this is just a what if. But what if the only way to sprout those is by the seeds actually taking sprout inside a body and then growing like that? 
I mean, I'm not sure about the science behind that, but I figure why not just say it. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Let's talk for a moment. What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room. Oh, no. And so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear. Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. Memories, not memories. Uh... Let's have a little bit of a check now. Um... Let's check what kind of quests I could do right now. Legendary guitar on a rainy day. The beauty. Okay, so her room is where? Probably right over there. Which can be done by going from where I am, going to the hall, going to the end, and then turning left at the end. Alright, then let's head down there. Seriously, though, this hotel is huge. It's kind of sad that there's only two people staying here. I mean, this place must have been a huge thing. People must have used to come around from everywhere. Picture of a beautiful lady. Now that's a pretty girl. Is it? I wonder who she is. Polly's daughter, perhaps? Maybe a granddaughter. Might be worth asking her. That was Paul way back in the day. Let's be fair here. She's kind of full of herself. <laughs> hmm. Can I? No, I cannot. Is that a card I see? No. Yes, it is. You got Kaysen Seedling. Seeding. Uh, okay. Let's just grab this and get out of here. Give Polly her, uh, old picture back and, you know, get out of here. No more, uh, need to worry. Alright. It does take absolutely forever, though. Oh, did this lead outside? Oops. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh uh, my. I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out, so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. A oh no. Activity in such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach. He's so creepy right now. What do you have to say, George? And how about you, Emily? Let's see what uh, our dear friends Emily and George have to say to us. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. 
Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zack? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. I can't wait to meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. York looks extra creepy with that outfit for some reason. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um... How do I even get out of here again? Oh, am I on the back of it? Oh no, it's okay, it's right here. Never mind, guys, I'm not stupid. I have perfect... Oh my gosh, my car is... An art gallery in such a small town. Am I prejudiced to think that it doesn't seem to fit? Greenvale and every small town has every right to enjoy art. That's right. Small towns tend to be full of highly cultured people. Although I can't say I've ever been to the gallery myself. George, what about you? Are you into art? Actually, yes. I like going to the gallery. It's very relaxing there. Really, George? I never knew that about you for all this time. Emily, please. I'm just as cultured as everyone else. Some people just have sides to them that you'd never expect. <sighs> By the way, about Diane, the owner of the gallery. Is she the type that isn't very appreciated by other women? What do you mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Emily. Is she very attractive, especially to the opposite sex? So you're asking if she's sexy, right? Well, she does always wear high heels. And definitely, it's uh, hard to explain. But that doesn't make me biased, okay? She just seems to, to look down on people. She always has. I just don't like people like that. That must be because sex appeal has no effect on you. Now that's out of line. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't mean to poke fun at you. You just reacted so strongly to Diane's name. I did not. It, it's like you're suggesting I'm the total opposite of her. Is that it? Oh, Emily, that's not what anyone is suggesting. Let's just drop this conversation, okay? Haha, <laughs> it's funny because... Well, I don't have to explain. Also because the outfit she's wearing. I think if I head this way, it should be fine, right? Probably. I wonder if they have any other dialogue. Ah, it, it should pop up by the time I get there if they do. Alright. Only 1,100 yards away. Seriously kind of wish that I had access to my car already. I probably could do that side quest right now, getting access to my car again, but I kind of want to do one story event before I... Well, I'm kind of... Hmm. I've heard that Chapter 7 is not a long chapter. So, if I want to do Chapter... I should probably not do the thing now that I think about it. Okay, let's see. Could do this here. Cope's Tunnel, Becky's House. Let's see if anyone has any quests for us right now. Usha has his quest available to us. Alright. And looks like Usha has his quest available to us, and that's about it. So, why don't we just go do that right now? I wonder, can I use it while in the car? This should be a good experiment. No, we cannot. What do they say when I get out of the car right here? If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. 
Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Please keep that in mind and don't be late. Well, I'm we're going to be right in front of it, but I'm actually about to ask George for a ride. Because that's, you know how I roll. Okay, George, you're going to give me a ride to... Where was it? Oh yeah, it was to the uh, hospital, wasn't it? Let's go say hi to Usha. I think it's through this door right here. Then off to the right. Yep, right here. Wish I remembered other places as well as I remember video games. Seriously, I remember games way better than I remember anything else. He's not here. Alright. He must be upstairs, and I totally didn't check when I came inside. Well, it doesn't matter how good my direction skills are if I totally didn't check four directions in the first place. I didn't check to see where he was. I just assumed he'd be down here because, you know, I've only ever seen him down here. So where is he from here? He is... I'm guessing this is Isha, right? Yep. So I will... Ah, that's actually fairly simple. Head straight out here. And then without going to the other doors here, you just take a right, head straight to the end here. And I believe take this right. Hey, Asha, sorry to talk to you while you're, you know, helping a patient. Hey there. Let's talk to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usher, something on your mind? Oh, Agent. Just the person I wanted to see. I take it this isn't a chess problem. Is it something a little more serious? Oh yeah, it's serious. I just can't figure it out. Now you've snagged my interest. Tell me more then. Mm, it's a question... Well, it's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A.G. Silver, N.A. Sodium, G.E. Germanium, E.R. Erbium, L.I. Lithium, K.R. Krypton, I.R. Iridium, S.B. Antimony, S.E. Selenium, E.U. Europium, and S.R. Strontium. The elements love you, Doctor. What are these? Elements from the periodic table? Oh, that's right. I just, I thought it was some chemistry problem, but that doesn't seem to be it at all. Please, if, if you can figure it out, you let me know, okay? Okay, Usha. I'll give it a shot. You let me know as soon as you figure it out. The periodic riddle. That's a lot of them, though. Let's see. Okay. What does that have to do with anything, though? Let's see 
What kind of IVs he has. Well, that's cool, but I don't need any. So, what were they? Okay, I just looked up a list of what he said to be sure I got it. Let's see. Silver, sodium, germanium, erbium, lithium, krypton, iridium, et, 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 SS, G, E, L. Okay, maybe it's something more to do with their actual numbers? Then again, a number puzzle wouldn't work. A N A N G E L. Wait. A N G E L K I S S E S. Angel kisses. That's that's it. Got it. Nice to have them on a the list because I could not write it down in that time because I didn't have any paper or uh, ability to click away from the stuff I was working on. It's a question. Well. It's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A G silver. His hand is in a so. His hand is going through the clipboard. G -E. His hand was going through the clipboard. I hope everyone knows this. Okay, now read the first letters vertically down. Angel kisses. You still don't understand. Of course, angel kisses is freckles. The answer is Fiona. In other words, Fiona is in love with you. Oh, uh, I, uh, I see. It's a very cute love letter. Those who have the courage to love have the courage to face rejection. And she is a brave one. Don't you think that's wonderful? Uh, you know, just between you and me. She's been sending me signals like this for over a year. Then why don't you respond? Is there something else you're interested in? No, no, there's no one else. It, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike Fiona, I just... I don't know what to do. Usha, don't tell me you've... Yeah, that's right, I've never had a girlfriend before. Please, now, don't tell a soul, promise. I won't do your autopsy if you tell. Uh, I'm sure that's a fresh new way of saying something horrible. Anyway, thank you for figuring this one out for me. Now I'll handle the rest. Let me give you this to thank you. Usha's potato chips card. Really? Thanks, Usha. This will help me keep it zipped, all right? Agent? Nah, don't. Just kidding, Usha. Your secret dies with me. Hopefully in many years' time. The periodic riddle completed. Also, I hope they know that there's a patient right there who can hear everything. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I totally am not doing this because it's funny or anything. Seriously, he just ignores the bullets and crouches. I think it's funny, personally. <sighs> don't worry, dude. You have a good doctor right there. All right, time to leave. And now I can head off. Out of this hospital madness. Should come back to the lobby with this door. Yes, Saruni. Fiona, nice one. I swear to butt. Doesn't happen again when I walk over the spot. It just randomly plays this weird scuffling sound. It's just odd. Like, why is that even happening? Sadly, it's not raining today. Actually, 
I can head over to Jack's place again. And using this. Let's see. Heaven and Hell gas station. I can give him another hundred dollars to get a piece of information that I probably won't be able to use. Ah, there it is. My good old car. Seriously, this car just has a really good backup sometimes. You spat on my car again. I think I hate you. Three hundred dollars this time. I've been waiting for you, Benjamin. I've got a good one for you today. Don't go around spreading this one. I'll tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe as we get more trading cards he allows us to buy more stock or something I I don't know access more of his stuff so for paying $300 we get a bunch more agent honors so essentially it's trying to pay back part of what we just paid this game's way too nice to me. And if I had the three times suit on right now, I would have probably just got like 500 back. Zach, don't you think there are a lot of good looking women in this town? It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. Do you remember Liz? The prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that. But you know. She was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. Do you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth in a popular series, and was produced by Menahem Golan's Canon Films. Figured it out, Zach? Think it over, then. Call it your homework until next time. Fourth in a series, he said? I don't know the answer. Thing is, like I said before, I'm not great with uh, movies. They're not my best. Kinda wish I was. Eh, whatever. Well, I guess I should just go full speed straight up this hill. See where this takes me. Because I don't really know what I should be doing. I mean, there are things I need to do, but I can only do most of them on rainy days. Actually, I could go card collecting now. What goes up this way? Nothing important. How about down this road? That's the end of the line. I'm actually almost out of town at this point. Let's see. Out in the middle of that field, there's one over there. White Spruce Farm. Roaming Signory? So if I go to Emily's house right now. Zach, is there some... Okay, well I'm gonna go find uh, that roaming girl.
Let's go straight to Emily's house. Ten thirty-four. Let's also test to see if this uh, passes time or not. Welcome back, Mr. Ryan. Uh, there you are, Signory. Hey, Sigourney. Sigourney, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Could you explain what you're talking about? What are you rambling on about? My pot's getting cold as we speak. Hurry, hurry. Zach, I guess we're going to have to drive her home. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. Cold pot one. Um, Sig Sigourney often wanders in the town. The weather's nice. Having been told that her pot is getting cold, you now have to take her home. Driving safe, we may not cut it this time. So I just have to drive her back somewhere fast. Now, get the car going. My house is over by the lake. Three, two, one, go! Alright, um... The car feels like it's controlling differently, oddly enough. I don't actually know how to get there, so I need to check my map real quick. Well, I can do Lysander's thing. Let's see. That's Cope Tunnel. That's down here. I'm going the exact opposite way. Did it spawn me facing the wrong direction, or did I turn this way? What the? I did. Okay, that was completely random. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. What the? Okay. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. Okay. The problem, Ryan, is, well... This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. <laughs> hurry, Ryan. hurry! Step on it! Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? <laughs> Woman, I don't think you understand. I don't, uh... I'm, I'm not driving at all. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. I can't even... I can't get out of the car! Wait. There are turn signals? Okay, I turned that off. I... What do I do? Hey, lady. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If uh, can I? Uh, uh, I don't suppose I can. No. Well. Um. What do we do while we're here? This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry, step on it. Why do you have to drive so safely? 
Can't you see my pot is getting cold? This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry, step on it. Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? Why aren't... Stop the car! If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold! Sigourney, what's wrong? <sighs> Don't tell me. It's exactly what you think. Thanks to your slow driving, my pot got cold. Oh, you're just useless. I give up, Zack. I also forgot to ask what's in the pot, too.